Stone Church. I'm Paul Naden. Along with my wife Jill, we are regional pastors for Thameside, East Manchester. I'd like to share with you a proverb that has had a positive influence on my life. This proverb comes from Ecclesiastes, but it was written by Solomon, so I think it's allowed in this series. Ecclesiastes 7.21 says, Do not take to heart everything people say. Do not take to heart everything people say. How good advice is that? Of course, we should take to heart some things that people say. If, if they say things that are true and they're for our benefit, maybe we can even thank the person who said them to us, even if they were not very nice to us. But often things are said against us that are not true, or sometimes they are true, but they're said in a hurtful way. I found that if we make space for God to speak to us, one of the things that the Holy Spirit wants to do is to remind us of things from our past that are affecting our life today. Sometimes this can be a reminder of words spoken against us that have shaped us. We might not think that they're affecting us, but words often spoken against us can colour the things that we say and the things that we do today. One such situation for me was when a family member, not Jill, said that the business success I had experienced was just luck, that I had been in the right place at the right time and was very lucky and I won't be successful again. Firstly, these words can hurt, especially when they're spoken by someone close to you. Secondly, they can act as a curse to hold us back. Maybe someone said to you things like, you'll never amount to anything, or you're off track, you're in error. Maybe they've said that you're an idiot or that you're selfish. Don't let these words define you. Isaiah 54 tells us what we should do. It says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. So when we speak, so when people speak against us, we have a birthright as God's children to judge these words because we have the power to nullify their effects. When we judge them, we can reverse the curse by speaking it out. The spoken word is powerful and can be used for our good. We have a responsibility as Christians to forgive those who've spoken ill of us, not to not use this as, a, as an opportunity to gossip about them and not to seek to get even with them. Also, where hurtful words are true, we do have the right to move on past them and to not them define our future. Let me pray with you. Please make these words your own. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne and we bring these words spoken about us. Lord, heal me from the hurt I feel about these words. I forgive the person who said them to me. I will not seek revenge or gossip about them. Lord, bless this person who said these things to me. I judge these words about me in your presence and declare that they are false. I declare that the opposite is true because I am found in Christ. I declare the blessing over my life and over my family in Jesus' name. Lord, where words have hurt me that have some truth in them, I pray for healing in me. I also ask for wisdom and strength to change. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, church. Let's be a blessing to someone today. Have a great day. Bye.